medical experts and researchers are sounding the alarm. The effects that we're seeing on kids from screens is really frightening. New research published in a medical journal looked at the screen time of TVs and DVDs and its impact on children between the ages of one and three. This is a study out of Japan and it is based on data from almost 60,000 children. And they looked at the association of screen time and developmental performance. The impact is devastating on learning and achievement. What the study did show was that more screen time at one and two years of age was associated with lower developmental scores at ages two and three. The study also revealed that more screen time at age two was connected to lower motor skills and personal social skills at age three. That's because kids are not exploring their surroundings and often not interacting with others when they're staring at a screen. There's also a negative impact on eyes and posture. Educators at child care centers say they see the impact of this screen use in real time. We've definitely seen the negative impacts um, typically in our ASQs. Those are our screenings that we use two to three times a year um, and we've definitely seen a decrease in communication and fine motor skills um, as children are watching screens a lot more than they used to. Medical experts make it clear that the negative impact on learning is really greater because many kids are dealing with additional screens not included in this study. The effects are really um, multiplied now because this study didn't even look at uh, the handheld devices. So we're talking smartphones and tablets. Experts say one way to get kids back on track is for parents and caregivers to take a pledge to do screen free activities with kids. That's one thing that I love about Green Garden is we don't use them here at school at all. You can also plan screen time exposure for kids because experts understand that it's a challenge to totally erase screens from the environment. Researchers say you should treat screen time like you would this dessert. Just like dessert, we don't really give dessert to babies. And we know that a little bit once in a while can be okay, but if we have a lot of it, Every day, it's going to cause problems. In Hazel Park, Ingrid Kelly, Fox 2 News.